All right, so we're going to look over question one here on exam one for the CVN 3256 course. Um, you can pull up this off of the desire to learn, but if not, here is the problem. So we're just going to look at number one here where we're asked to select an excavation support system for the site. Um, so going here and looking at all of these specific characteristics, we're going to um, highlight some of the um, important ones that are going to come up in our selection. So first thing we have here, we got to make sure we're looking at the right things. Um, this is going to come in handy. 14 foot depth excavation. This one here. Utility lines running underground. Cannot be disturbed. So that's going to affect our distance. Um, sandy soil and water table, sites to remain dry, so water resistance, um, noise restrictions, so that's going to preclude some things, um, and that's, that's the big ones for question one. So really to answer this question, we just need to come to uh, this spreadsheet, which you should have uh, sh make sure you get to know really closely so that you can answer this a little more closely. So um, we're just going to go down the list and based on the things in the problem, we're going to assess which one is going to work out best. So um, first one here, the open or benched. Um, the only thing that would preclude this one is an open takes a lot of space. So it's high space and going back to the problem, we have these utility lines. So that precludes that solution. So no open or benched. Next is sheet pile, um, which would be good except for the noise. If we're doing a driven sheet pile, which we're going to assume too high of noise, it's precluded right here with the noise restriction. Next one is the soldier pile and lagging. And the problem with this one is the water resistance. There's really very little um, water resistance with the soldier pile and lagging, and our site needs to remain dry during construction. The water table is above the depth of the excavation, so we'd have a lot of trouble keeping it dry. So that one's out. Um, the next one is the continued contiguous board piles. And this one is no good also for the water resistance. Uh, next one that we can look at are the secant piles. Secant piles, um, lateral space is low, which is good. Noise is low is good. Water resistance is good. So this one is definitely one that is workable. Next one we'll look at is reinforced wall. So this one also has excellent water resistance, low low noise and low lateral space. So this one is also doable. And then the last one, if we want to look at it here, is uh, the soil nails, which you can see there's no resistance and it's more of just a, an added thing to another. So out of the actual support systems, it comes down to these two. 